Hello and welcome, this is JBG Distracted, and I thought I'd uh, um, do a short introduction. Um, Ghost Recon, I played a Ghost Recon game before, I think it was Future Soldier or something like that, um, and I really enjoyed it, but I hadn't really played um, any of the Ghost Recon games before. Uh, but I've been playing Wildlands now for about 10 hours, and so far it's the best game I've ever played, and I thought I'd quantify that. Um, and to quantify that, um, we need to rewind to how I got to Wildlands. And most of my life has been spent playing first-person shooter games. It started back with all the Quakes, uh, Unreal, and then moved to Borderlands. There's been a few other games in between times. Soldier Fortune I loved, Sin, back in the day, and um, Call of Duty, the original couple of games I played, although I found them a bit too frenetic and rushed um i i like to take my time in a game uh but for the best part of 15 years my main gaming has been borderlands uh one two and three i i've loved playing borderlands but it's evolved um these last this especially this last iteration away from um a shooter uh, into something a little bit more and it really is more like dungeons and dragons now with guns almost like magic wands and it, it kind of took me away from what i loved because in a game i love to unwind by killing people uh, not creatures or animals or monsters or anything like that uh, put a bipedal in front of me and uh, i'll shoot it and that, i find that a relaxing way to play play games i i don't like monsters and stuff like that um, I've been looking for alternatives to Borderlands for a very long time. As a member of Grey Ops, we played the Halo Master Chief series, but I didn't really get into them. I found them quite frustrating on the PC. I think they were very much designed for consoles, and uh, it didn't translate for me. And like I say, I prefer to kill people, not monsters. While we were looking at other games to play after Halo, I had looked into and brought Wildlands and um, spent a little time into it, but, I, but it was a bit too much um, creeping around for me at the time. I was very much adverse to creeping around games, and it was third person, which I've never really got on with. I always found it really difficult to do simple things like just walk through bloody doors. And like I say, I wasn't really a fan of stealth. So I played Wildlands briefly, but like, uh, uh, like I say, it, it was too much. Um, creeping around so i i shelved um uh wildlands over for over a year and then i saw a friend of mine on twitch playing far cry 4 which looked absolutely gorgeous and appeared to be open world and that was something i was having spent um so long playing games that funnel you in a particular direction i was really looking forward or trying to find something open world far cry 4 looked amazing I got over my stealth phobia. It was FPS, and I had huge fun playing it. I loved the world. I loved the game, but I wasn't really a big fan of the way it forced you through missions and how you had to fail to learn how to do them. Um, I loved, like I say, the shooting and everything like that, but um, I, played, uh, I played Far Cry 4 a lot. I did some videos on this channel, and then I moved on to Far Cry 5, which was um, a very distant... Um, very distant uh, relative to Far Cry 4 as far as enjoyment was concerned for me and it was very gamey had some horrible gamey bits in it like you'd be captured for no reason whatsoever that you didn't have any choice in the matter and you'd have to go through like a an arcade thing just to try and get back into the game did not like that at all uh, but I, I, I went back to Far Cry 4 but it was too recent I'd spent too much time in it recently I really wanted an open world game I could just poodle about in with a gun uh, and then kill baddies occasionally and mod my guns and shoot more baddies uh, and then I realised I already had Wildlands and uh, I'd already got over my stealth phobia um, so, and I then um, worked at it and got over my third person phobia I almost made a video on why I hate third person uh, but I wanted to spend some time in, in the Wildlands world because it ticked off every other box. Uh, and so uh, so I have, and uh, at this moment in time, 10 or so hours into the game, 
Uh, it's it, I, I, it's the best game I've ever played. I love it. Absolutely love it. So here we are. Um, best game ever. Ten hours of gameplay. Uh, what I decided to do is start a new character to take what I'd learned um, from my initial outing in the game, in my initial ten hours, start over. And uh, I'd found a lot of videos that show you how to play Wildlands. Actually, don't tell you the obvious stuff. I only found one video that showed you actually how to start playing the game. Everything else was focused on the guns and how to get them and which guns were the best. Uh, so I wanted to create this video uh, just like I do all videos for my own record of playing the game, but also as an introduction to how to get going and what the core gameplay is, uh, which is leveled um, around uh, finding information and then acquiring assets. And there are some game missions, which are a little bit reminiscent of Far Cry, but not hugely so. And uh, uh, and uh, you really, really screw those missions up if you screw up. Uh, the gameplay gives you something to do, and then it's up to you to screw it up, which I have occasionally done. Anyway, so uh, I'm, um, I do talk during the recording of the video, um, this I've tagged on the front just to give you context. I hope you enjoy this gameplay. Like I say, I record it for myself to watch in the future. Uh, but uh, um, I do try to make it entertaining to some level. Have fun. So I'm a computer. So what I thought I would do while we do these opening few missions. Uh, I would just thought I'd... So you start off in this... We'll go into this map. So I've got... Um, this is a basic... This is what we would call the... Uh, the starter map in the game and you'll see here that its difficulty is you see there's lots of maps there's a very big game here but we're starting in this you know low level security map uh we can see it itica let me just there we go so level one difficulty security stabilization so this is a good place to start and get ourselves sorted so that's what we're going to do. Now, what the idea of the game is, is that you start off and you, you, you start, when you're in a new zone, you the first thing you do is gain intel. That's the very first thing you want to do when you're in a, a new zone is you gain intel. And that gives you access to uh, either weapons, skill points, or um, missions you can do for local rebels. Uh, but what we're going to do is go here on this story mission and then we'll get to this this is just really just a a leader just to get you going i'm not particularly wanting anything special submachine gun assault rifle uh, i think most of these uh i think some of these are so that's got a suppressor i'm going to keep that that's the one it's i'm going to change that if i can Some machine gun MP5. I don't know why what the difference between those two is. Uh, but let me uh, edit this if I can actually put on a scope. No. So one of the first things I want to do is get a scope. I do not know what the difference between those two is. I'm not going to go with that. I love the way that it represents weapons. Uh, but what we've also got here is is a pistol. And uh, I have found that, uh, yeah, so it's having a suppressor on it is gold, especially at the beginning of the game. But we're just going to do this initial mission. You've got some Time to earn your pay, people. Um, earn your game teammates. Yeah, I've been playing in solo. And, these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. and I always like to drive. End of the day, this is so I'm actually for the driving I'm actually using a controller I have found it easier I've tried con controlling uh, changing the uh, the sensitivity but it just and uh, I find it uh, easier just to t lay off the acceleration rather than pressing brake so we're just going to go, I, I forget what this mission is now, but we'll just do it for the sake of it. So this is using my Xbox, oh, I haven't got an Xbox, but it is an Xbox controller. 
I'm hoping that uh, ooh. right press the brake so this is where we're at so um, I just change the camera I think I don't want to do that so the other so let me just uh, pull this up here I think we're just going down to actually um, stop that so let's get them all out of the car put the controller down so doing that with the PC would have been a nightmare you've been all over the place off the edge of the cliff okay so we can control these characters so the default for for this is a uh, see look at we, we don't want to just run up the steps straight at them so I'm just going to switch to I'm going to switch to that submachine gun I like that a lot right So we've got a drone, which is one of our best weapons, literally. So I'm just going to fire this up here. The drone is very basic. Oh, okay. And literally it will just spot these baddies. Now it's got a very short range and a very short battery life at the outset. There's another guy there. And so all you're trying to do is spot these so they don't surprise you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my team down back around here. We're just going to get back in the car and drive around. Where's our car gone? There it is. Come along here. I'm going to come into the camp and from a different angle. Uh, down the other end here. So we just pull the car over. Don't know what stop is. There we go. Let's run along here, possibly shoot a little bit closer. So that's where we're heading up to up here. Oh, I think we have to interrogate someone, don't we? No, we don't. Uh, okay, so actually what I'm going to do there, we, we're actually here. I'm going to just run in there and say hi. Right, so we just put our drone up. So these, there's a whole bunch of guys here. Uh, there should be a guy up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press F, which is my sync shot. I get this. Come on. I can't. There we go. So one of my soldiers will go in and. Right, is there anyone else here that I haven't? Because what you don't want to do. Now, you can see here that actually there is another guy here because I've not. There. You see he was just sat down. I'll wait for the uh, the cooldown to finish. There was another guy, and you can see here. There's a, the, on the mini map. There's a red haze still. So what you want to do is you fire up that. Once you've spotted everyone, that red haze will go. See, I've spotted him now, and that red haze that was immediately before me is gone. And now we've got the the guys there that we. Uh, so that um, that sink shot there. That, that means I've got someone on site and they are lined up ready to shoot that person. And what I'm going to do is just hold down the F key and Drop. they're going to take that shot and they've killed that one person. Which means that I'm not going to get spotted now or certainly not by spotted by them. So now all we're just going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to try and... Um, now the sink shot, that sink shot is cooling down right now. But we see here we've got these guys here as soon as that's closed down now what we want to do is, is do like you do in Far Cry uh, which is a story for another day is how I got to this see that character over there he's a darker red he's coming through oh he's actually in that building now that's good that means he's out of the way so these guys haven't noticed me position. I'm going to mark him Oh, I've only got the one sink shot at the moment, haven't I? 
Okay, so we're going to have to take this carefully. I'm going to go through the back here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to try and take this one of these guys now. When I fire, the other guy will get taken down. I think they shot me back. So this is my other suppressed weapon. Suppressed weapons are the are the best. Now I'm just using the iron sights here, but that seems to be good. I could also have my guys go hot as well. Um, and you do that through the control menu. So you press tab PC. You can either scroll through them. Um, um, or, or I have F keys. F1 to 4. F1. Uh, and you have to press them together. So you have to press tab and then F1 Ready? to okay. fire. Or F, F2 to hold. Uh, or, or usually what you'll do is just um, tab F4 for them to regroup on you so you can then move forward. So we've killed the guy that was at the top there. That doesn't mean that someone hasn't replaced them. So, oh, this is a baddie. Uh, actually, <laughs> he might be our contact. No, he was an information source. I killed him. <laughs> nice car, though. No, I don't want to get in. Go on, I'll meet you. Right, okay. There will be another person to replace them, don't worry. So what I should have been doing is keeping an eye out on the road because baddies will sometimes come up the road. So you can see here, bottom right, um, bottom left-hand side, I'm um, just going back to my weapon here. You can see that I've got five ammo left in my magazine. I'm just going to reload that. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. And the good thing about this is you can just look around the corner. I have to say I'm a first-person shooter, uh, but that has been a bit of a revelation. Uh, this game was so perfect for me if it wasn't for the fact that it was third-person, but I, I just had a, have a chat with myself. This is our guy, I think. So I need to go up to him and then... Uh, Right, so I've got him now. Let's get him into this hut and then we can question him. Get back before they make you. Try. Right, um, shift F1, go hot guys. I'm shooting these fuckers. That's one down. I guess I can't. Um, question him while we've got a live fire going on. Um, oh, here we go. I changed the button because I had problems. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Fast, 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 please. Okay, that's good. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not going to last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. So, um, tab F4, they're going to come back to me now. So there's another guy. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. So we've got no red haze on the minimap. Which means there's no one that we haven't got detected. Got him. Let's get moving. Cartel ain't gonna wait so he, he was the last guy. 
and uh, I was still suppressed. It doesn't really matter. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. So you can actually, uh, if you're suppressed, you, you lose power to your weapon. Um, so the shots have less power and less killing power. Um, I think there was some more, actually, if I tell the guys to hold. Hold your position. Copy that. So they don't pester me as they run backwards and forwards. I go back here. I'm pretty. There we go. I'm sure these these mission points here are very useful. There we go. They're part of the stats that you need to bump up to get your extra skills. I think I saw another one back here somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, there we go there we did in there i think yep so you tag these and you're you're basically adding to your ability it's like skill points extra and of course this is a weapon cache i don't know what um advanced means i mean, that didn't particularly seem to be that much harder to kill Right, rally around me. Yeah. So what we want to do now is we want to get uh, to drop this guy off. Uh, no, we, 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 we've uh, got the information we need. What we want to do is go and pick up our, our friend at this base. Looks like we're going to have to steal a car. Let's do that. So the next location for this mission is yellow. Come on, come on, guys. There we go. I don't want to run out. Oh well, they'll jump in the car later or catch up with us. Right. This is probably the most driving you'll do in the game, I would imagine, because once you. Once you get used to everything that's going on, the, the most of what you'll be doing is uh, in a helicopter. So, there we go, it's a dangerous old place to drive, this place. So I need to keep an eye on the road as well for bad, baddies. It's actually very difficult to die in a vehicle, I have found. I have uh, crashed multiple, I have crashed multiple aeroplanes. And survived every single one of them. They're not cartel. Uh, the aeroplane is especially tough. So you're looking for red cars. There you go, there's one coming up on the other road that we can take this. One of those two cars is a baddie. But they've not spotted me. All my... Uh, Team are actually now in the car. They automatically join into the car. So you are not going to do this much driving in the game ever, because you're mostly going to just trying to get to the next helicopter, and the helicopters are what, where everything is at. And so half of my time is spent uh, taking down locations to get to the helicopters, then I can fly somewhere, which adds the immersion. So I'm using the controller here, I would not... I would be about five minutes back. I should use the brake there. Try not to run over... I'm trying not to run over the... Uh, so I think... We're pretty close here. So let's pull up the map. Yeah, and there's a helicopter here as well. So I'm just going to uh, pull the car over the other side of the road. And we'll get out. Okay. And let's head over towards this base where there should be, or this location where there should be some baddies about. There we go, we're pretty close to it. So 
So I'm carrying my suppressed uh, Eyes up. We got hostiles in the assault area. rifle at the moment. Tell me where. Inside the barn. Now what I can also do as well. Now they'll, your your teammates will warn you when you're getting something near somewhere close. And they'll usually spot one or two characters. Now another thing to know, or learn, is if someone spots you, you get like the Something the noise the and everything. They just hit this the go prone button. I've got set up as control, which is the default. And almost every time, they won't be able to see you. So you'll be able to hide yourself. So this character here is... By themselves. Coming up on a Toyo farm. He's Remember, walking very close to us. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, now if I go to I, I should be able to switch this to. Starts. Let's go. Single shot. I messed that up big time. So. So what I was trying to show you was that you can switch the shot mode as well. So they've got us. Um, Threats inside the barn. So I'm on a um, single shot mode, so... So let me pull up the uh, while everyone's engaged. So they're all out and about now. So you see all the red haze from the minimap is gone, which means that we've got all the baddies spotted. So what I could do here is have that marked, and then he's in. He's on the shot now. So if I got him but so that was me on single shot but I switched it now to multi shot but I think oh he's not they're not everyone's dead oh, they must have um don't let me die on this first mission so I've got a frag grenade Got him. So uh, that's quite cool, actually, a bit more They're realistic. So you don't have to carry med pads or anything like that. Med packs. Now we can see here that we've got like a gun part, and that's like the the on a case. here. So I can nab that, and that will that will actually have added a part, and I could have actually looked at the map. And it would told me what that was. Go in here. Got night vision if you want. That was binoculars. I could have pulled those out earlier. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, melee. Oh, you could face face the gate if you want it. Or just shoot it. Oh, E. There we go. I always forget, but you can E. That guy looks like he's had a rough time of it. Come on, we're getting you out of here. Cool. Are we? Roll helicopter. Right. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we're cool. This is where I pretty much spent my entire time hey. in this game, I got going between I'm missions. Fine. Let's go. Now you can fly the helicopter quite easily with the keyboard and mouse. So we actually missed and we got some baddies over there. Uh, but we're just going to go and follow the yellow marker on the mini map. So 
so you could control this with the PC keyboard easy enough. Now, I do think this um, base is fairly static as far as old Karen Bowman. No, it's down here. Okay. I think that's where you have to take all the other. I forget. Oh, control. There we go. It would have been easier to do if you were oh if you had a controller. There's a weapons case over here. Point us. Right, so we've done our first mission. I think actually she has said that there's a, well you can see that that's got a plus sign, that's actually a, a weapon. I think that's a sniper rifle. Awesome. I could put this to use. We'll check our loadout. Are you hurt? We'll turn over every rock. Right, so that's the introduction to the game done. Now we can actually start to have some fun. So we do the loadout. Let's have a look at the loadout here. I've got skill points available. Parachute is. I haven't used a parachute a lot actually. But everyone says it's the first skill you should get, and I can't at the moment. But I will. Uh, all I will do is go to my loadout and I'm going to what I really want is some sites some decent sites and I'm going to change I am going to change this to a sniper rifle but now I've got one because you get a sniper rifle with that first mission that's a sniper rifle so I can right click edit this and now I can do stuff so it's got parts it's a it's got a single trigger I I think you can it will fire multiple shots you don't get yeah if you and you want anything you have to go and find it now, an interesting thing here if you want something that's padlocked if you look on the top right hand side you'll see here it tells you that you can get go to the region media Luna uh, and uh, or buy it I think and uh, you get it from that region uh, and it's got, a, well, I've got a suppressed suppressor on it there as well. And typically I would be doing, taking long shots. It's not a particularly, it's a great beginning human stopper, but it's not um, suitable for some of the advanced missions you're going to need later. So what we're going to do now is we're, I'm, I've got this uh, equipped. I've got the, this assault rifle here. And what I want is a barrel. I want a, like a sight for it. And um, what I'm going to do, uh, so if we go here, and if I edit this, parts, oh, I've got a scope. Oh, it's, um, I picked up, oh, that sight I picked up outside. So let's have a look at that. So the scope was part of the first thing I picked up. That's useful. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. Yeah, so that's actually that's actually still the scope. I think our guns are I've used it on the other character. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. Now, this convoy I would not recommend you do next because uh, it is taking down convoys, no matter their size, is um, fairly complex. So I would leave that for now for the time being let's look at the map so what we want to be doing is we want to be going to these uh, information locations these as well 
uh, uh, major intel, these information locations, these here, these little pages, and we can also go to the question mark locations. And what we'll do is we'll slowly open up weapon parts, rebel, other rebel missions, and uh, you'll see uh, th th it will populate this region with all the missions that we need to do to clear it. So uh, let's do something simple here. We'll start off by looking at, well, not simple actually. Let's start by looking at this place up here. So let's go mark that, just clicked on it. And we're just going to use the helicopter. Now that location doesn't have a helicopter. Now what a lot of people like to do is just jump out to the helicopter. <laughs> it just seems such a waste to me. But anyway, so... Uh, Let's go. So we can see the marker on the map there. It's actually just down the road. I could have just we could have run there quite easily. Uh, we can see that there's uh, enemies in or around there. So let's just uh, drop our helicopter somewhere relatively close. Here. Uh, if you get too close, it will alert them and they will try and come and find you. Be aware of your surroundings. And there we go. Right. So I do a lot of my stuff with the pistol, unless I'm doing long range sniping. Because we see here there's one guy here. And there's a whole bunch. Oh, this is just one turret. So we've actually spotted this place. We could actually just go now. There's another turret up there as well. Now we can binocular this, and the binoculars give you a good insight. I see a second target. Now you can see here I've got one target there, but it's still got a red haze around it, which means there's probably another guy, at least one other guy, in that area. And the fact that he's light red means that he's viewable, dark red means that he's behind something. Turn off the binox. And we've got a guy in here. Got it. So I've got this guy sync marked. So one of my team will get in position to take them out. Say the word. And they're now ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and use the cover here to get close to this guy. Now there is, you, there's not like the take, sort of takedown you get in Far Cry. We're good, we're it's good. a Santa Blanca commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this. I need to be careful because there's another post up there as well. So what I could do, I don't want to get spotted by this guy. Now I can press F, I'm aiming down the barrel, so I press F and that guy's taken out. But that may raise the interest of the other one at the top there. Oh, see, that that was a, a baddie in a race car as well. He's off, though. Now, I need to be careful here. Of course. Seems like the entrance here. There we go. All you need is a pistol. So there's a marker in here as well, I think I saw. Yep. So this is actual skill. These are actual skill points. See that? Just hit the ground. So there's someone across the road, I think, there. I switched to my sniper. But there's someone else with them. You can see that because there's a red haze. Uh, so I send up the... Uh, Drone. Marking an enemy. So I'm marking position. that one. Put the drone away. Have my guy take him out while I take Ready. the other one out. That's one down. Done. Okay. Isn't that on. just so damn cool? Okay. Right. Um, one of the first skills I upgrade is. So that, that, there's someone else in that tower there, but we don't really worry. I'm, I'm not going to waste time.
going over there to find them out. I've done what I what came here to do, which was to clear that question mark. Let's get to the helicopter and uh, and so what we're trying to do is clear out all these unknowns in the map so we can pick up more. So that's now you can see here that's now marked as um, a fuel depot or something like that. That's now clarified. Got a question mark here. Let's go to that one. I could wait for my guys. Uh, they're going to jump in anyway. So that was right. That was very close, in fact. Okay. So there you go. I've what I've the got. Hell happened here? GPS says the place is named Yopil. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chase everybody off. So what we may want to do is get down close. There you go. You can see there's something there now. So let's go. Uh, just drop back over here. And take a look. If you um, unbalance the helicopter enough that the rotor blades hit the ground too much, they will uh, damage the helicopter enough that you can't use it. So there is something here. Let's see if we can find it. Now there's no haze, so we know. There we go. The file's over there. I am going to switch some. I have on a couple of occasions be walking through somewhere like this and then suddenly the haze just overlays onto it and you find yourself in the middle of the enemy territory let's get to here see what it's it's a key and that's it so we'll hopefully be able to unlock something later this is what the beginning of the missions are in each site. These um, dogs don't seem particularly scary. So let's go to this first um, location here. So we don't want to just drop into the village, just drop here and then we'll head into the village because I'm sure there's going to be baddies. Real baddies. The purple ones are Unidad, and they are nasty MOs, um, uh, MFs. So uh, you either want to take them down quickly if you can, uh, but if they radio for help, you're in big trouble. And at this stage in the game, um, I have found the best way to combat them is to run like hell. So you can correlate. Yep. You can pretty much correlate the mini map. Tango with multiple civilians around. Got another tango. So we can. Got it. Moving. I've got one of them Same tagged. Word. Let's get rid of those binoculars. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna go to the sniper rifle now and go around to the side. So when I take my shot, uh, my uh, my other patrol member will take his shot as well. But you can't afford to, because they'll radio for help. And... Right, okay, we ready? Watch your fire, we don't want to hit any civilians. No, we don't. Shooting these fuckers. Right, they're down. Unidads are the, the big problem. Doing? Switching to my other suppressed weapon. If I go um, aim over the... If I press I... I'm on auto at the moment. Semi-automatic. Don't want to waste any bullets. So 
So we can holster our weapons, I think, for the moment. We've got no red haze, which indicates we should be good as far as baddies. So it looks like, there we go, we've got this character here. These white ones don't tend to Hola. Get down. often. This is the, here we go, so here? supply raids, um, which means you can pick up like you kidnap a, or you steal a helicopter or a plane or, a, or like a, a convoy. Over here, there'll be like missions for um, helping the local rebels. And here is your skill points. And this will also show you um, um, weapon upgrade locations, stuff like that. And I always start with these. Because one needs to the other. And these now, we haven't got it marked on the map here, but uh, on the minimap you see there's like a green thing. This green thing means that there's a stash of something that the rebels can use close by. And when you get close, they'll, they'll be marked on the map as well. And just, uh, I've got the, uh, all the stuff on the HUD that pops up telling you which keys to press. I'm turned off because I, it ruins my immersion. But there we go. So we're good now. Let's get back to the heli. Hey, come on. Rally on me, boys. How cool is this? This is just the perfect game for me. You know, I, I loved Far Cry 4. And um, I've never really been into stealth. I've always, I hate to die in a game. And stealth seemed like too easy for me to die. So, uh, um, and I struggled with Far Cry 4 initially, but when I got used to it, I realized that I really had, I had to mess up to die. There were some situations where they forced you to die, to learn, but there weren't very many of them in Far Cry 4. The Far Cry 4 was so beautiful. I loved it, so I uh, got used to the whole dynamic. So you see it's opened up these, that's a skill point. They're going to be useful. It's, uh, there was a, an information point here, this is going to be uh, probably quite busy. Let's get over here and have a look. Right, okay, so we need to sort our stuff out here. Let's go down here. Keep forgetting to use the controller, actually. Which just is so much easier and not so noisy. Let's bring that around so it doesn't tilt down. And there we go, we can come out now. We may have found that uh, they've come out to look see at what was in the helicopter Shit, we got company so I'm just gonna throw up the uh, drone it started to you can see where the drone is on the oh look there they are Oh no. Got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. Look at them. Right, we've got our um yes. Okay, so there's no heat hazes there right now. So we need to work out our angle of attack. We're on the uh, downslope here. She won't get a bit closer. I want to sink shot some of these as well. The furthest I away. Bodies hanging by the side of the road. Looks like civilians. They think this will make us back off. Big mistake. Ready. Call the shot. Right, okay. Just gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna switch to my uh, uh, suppressed assault rifle. So I should be able to one-shot these at this distance anyway. If 
but what we want to do is do them all as quick as possible. I've only got sight on this one at the moment. Check your targets. We got civilians in Watch the area. For civilians. We don't yeah. want to kill somebody by mistake. Are you ready? So the, that guy down the end is going to go. Smoking fire on these shitheads. He's dead. They're on alert. So... That's okay. We're good. We didn't kill any civilians. Who would have told us if we killed the civilians? They ran. Don't blame them. But we're now in the night. We Let's just get this supply from over here. Get my guys over here. What's good is you can pull up like the, the drone. And this is useful. So you can pull up the drone and then you can... Um, Direct your guys to go to a specific location. You see that? Go. I'm just trouble is if you Roger. you can actually tell them to go and walk out in the open in front of baddies, and they will. So you have to be aware of that. Let me just pick up these. Parts here. So tell them to hold. Stay there. Copy. So all these count towards improving your abilities. And we've got lots, looks like. Now I should be a bit more cautious here, but I'm trusting the heat haze. Now, a lot of uh, the ex-army that play this game and all the, the pro gamers they don't like the heat haze, but instead they use like rebel spotters, which is, I feel, just like the same, really. Where's the uh, other two? So, oh, the next building, right. Okay. So, where are we going first with this? We're going to get our intel. Let's go over here. I will do. So night vision on. You can turn it on for a particular weapon or you can turn it on for uh, all of your weapons. So we should be good here. Now you typically only see these green things flagged up. I got one narco over by the dump. Right, let's go over here. They only f tend to flag up when you walk past them. So they're not just immediately available. Right, okay. Let's get down to business. See buildings over there. Probably those buildings there actually, I need to be careful. So this is the last of our safe buildings. So what I need to try and do now is spot And I quite often see like the green marker thing. Where the hell is that? And I realise I'm stood next to a stairwell. And it must be upstairs. But all this helps. So if we go to uh, our loadout now, you can see that we're increasing these stats here. And this is what that's all doing. And we've only got three points at the moment. The first thing I would do, for if I could, is extra sync shot. Have I got that? Oh, yeah, it is available. That's the very first thing I would do. Right, so let's use some of my resources. 
So you can have take out three guys at the same time, have two of your squad members, and then you do the other one. Right. I don't know whether to go over to this building. Let them rally on me. And don't get spotted, guys. Yes. Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. We do not. See them over there. Marking target. Watch the background. Marking the hostile. It's close to some locals. So that's all that is there. Moving to position. I need to so get I can flag position. those two, wait for my two guys to come in. And Eyes without doing Ready anything is just press the sync shot button and okay, they're dead right. so the good thing is we've taken them out let's um drop the monoculars let's walk around here and see whether any of the uh get rid of the night vision doesn't look like any of these buildings have any supplies stashed Let's make our way back over towards the intel. Yo, we got hostiles. So this is cemetery. Do like this about third person i you know before this game i really didn't care for third person much i actually really like being able to see so there's probably some baddies in here that's pull up the uh the drone Can't see anyone in there at all. But it's telling me there is somebody there. These are the ones I quite like actually. So I'm going to go to pistol. They might actually be on the roof. I didn't check the roof, did I? Let's wait for that. Let's see whether I've got an upgrade to the drone. Battery, yes I have. And range so useful that's useful to know that that happens quite quickly as well so let's pull that out let's have a look on the roof there we go now you, two of them now we can are they still there we go so that's the red haze gone from there That's interesting. Got it, moving. I'm gonna untag him. Tag him. Tag him. Moving to position. And see if I can get across the building. Say the word. Uh, get across over here. Can I jump this? Oh yes. Now if he's... My target. Can I get up here and shoot for a window? Doesn't look like it. Say the word, boss. If I go through here, I risk... We do not. They should get out of the way then. Next to the dump. I don't have 
shot. Oh, they're coming down the stairs, aren't they? Right. Have them rally on me. Yo, rally up. And let's go in for this back door. So I've got the pistol. Submachine guns. Right, he's down. Now, what you don't want is for someone to spot him. So there's still a guy on the roof, but the other guys have gone up now. So there's Yo, no one. Gunman, near the container. All right, breathe easy. Fuck. Uh, so he's found the dead body. So, okay, so you can't engage combat while crouched. Mofos. That's something to learn. So they'll revive me, but that's really annoying. Someone that hates to die in a game. But you, I, I never understand that. You walk up somebody crouched and you engage combat. All you have to do is have you automatically stand up. But now we're in it. Kill everybody. Now they will eventually get bored if you stay out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and get my group. Right, just get to the top of the building. Opening fire. Bloody move while I'm trying to shoot you. So he's in cover. I don't think I can shoot him through there. Try. Uh. So it's not. So those, um, there's a bit of a cheat, but those uh, markers above their heads are a great way of spotting them. And even if you can't see them, there's a guy there. You can aim uh, a little bit below the marker and take them out. Right, you guys hold this position. Stay there. We'll go. I'm going to go down. There's no red haze here, so I should be able to assume. Here they come. What's the play, boss? Kill them. Ready? Fire! 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 We'll go. Right. Note that tango's down. Let me change my um, fire mode. Clear on this side. That single bullet option obviously isn't good in a firefight. It's good if you're in stealth. 
But if you haven't got time to... That looked like a soldier sat down with a... But it's not. But it is a figure. Okay. And there is intel in here. Uh, but I think we've killed all the baddies. So let's go and have a look at this intel. So we still want all our... Oh, so that was weapon parts and weapons it looked like. So it looks like all the baddies have been killed. So it looks like there's a prison over here. You can see rebels. Right, let's go in here. As you, you can hear this, the, the helicopter, you want to stay away from that. Disconcerting hearing that. That is the building we're at. Now, it seems like the game likes, if you're going to try and get clever, um, item location markers on. So that should be telling me where that yellow marker is. How annoying. Uh, object markers. Oh, okay. There we go. There it is. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are but he's sitting in an Unidad fire base. So we can see here that we've got a weapon part. And what we can do is you can go over it and it should tell us. Compensate reduces recoil. We're not particularly interested in that right now, but we're here. So we might as well. So we've got these two points of information here, plus any stock we can pick up. So that's where you go, no, object markers. I, case here. I just like, some people just like prefer not to have them, so you have to go and find them. But it's just too much of a pain. Awesome. You just. I can put this to use. I can understand some of the, the combat based ones, but just finding some of these game things, you know. Okay, right. This building here. This building here. I do quite like the fact that these only flag up as you get near them. You have to do go looking for them. It doesn't make life too tedious for you. you know, as soon as you're within 20 yards or something like that, it'll flag up. Right, so we're good. Oh, oh there we go. Hello, 
So map. So we've got this one intel point here. Let's go and take that. I have to say advanced mode. It feels more realistic. You know, it feels like the baddies have a say in it as opposed to just being cannon fodder. Did I get what I came here for? No. So at least we're not fighting off baddies every step of the way because we've killed them all already. And like I say, this is like a level one area, so it's a good way of getting used to everything. There can be some tricky moments. So the bonus medals, I think, can be useful as well. We'll go for three. Anyone else here tired of those cartel dicks chatting with each other? We can put a dent in that with this. A location of one of their network stations. Yeah, some of, the, the, some of these missions are great fun as well. Those network stations are tough. All the rebel missions are tough, actually. There is, you, yeah, there's a skill to doing each one of them. Some of them are easier, like uh, kidnapping a plane, but it's really difficult to fly a plane. Let's have a look at the map. Right, so what we're going to do is get in the helicopter here, uh, which is probably going to be on top of the building. This is not the helicopter we flew in on. And then we're going to go and find some more info. Well, so have we got any other weapon parts? So there's a weapon part here, what's that? Vertical foregrip. Yep, so that can help you with um, recoil. There's a weapon here. It's a shotgun, okay. Has a weapon part here. It's a scope. Always up for a scope. What's here? That's uh, points. Skill points are always useful. Let's get to the helicopter. And what we'll do is we'll head down to here. Pick up those and then go to this point here. Let's get to it. I'm actually going to use a controller for this because it's just easier. Did I select a location on the map? I didn't. So it always try. Oh look, ah, looks like a runway, doesn't it? Um, that is a runway. Okay, I'm not going to do this mission yet because I think that the intel mission behind it will give us access to. The mission now I think that's going to be like a steal the plane so we, do, we should do rebel supplies next
So we're just going to park the helicopter over here, I think. We we'll park on the road. There we go. And out we get. If you press the E button too early, uh, too high, it'll drop from too high and it'll explode and kill you. So you want to be as close as you can. It's beautiful. I love this music. It's, it's the same music. It sort of does the same repeat. And it will actually, if you're recording this and posting it, it will copyright claim, but it's a music that's allowed by Ubisoft. Um, even though it's copyrighted. The only trouble is... is you worry whether it's going to be withdrawn at any stage. So let's get here and have a look with the Binox. guy over there. We like these sort of guys. Got it, moving. Just uh, separated from the main group. Got the target. So we could probably take that guy down. We won't though, because we don't want to. Now we've got the drone, we might as well use it. Extra battery, extra distance. Got another tango. Hey, we got a narco. Mark where you got him. So we're still missing someone there, down there, and there's still someone around the building there. Just one with now they're all spotted because we've got no red haze. That red haze makes a huge difference. Let's get rid of the. See how much that drone helped. Right, so we're going to tag that guy as well. Get to a better position. And I'm going to take out this guy. When I take out this guy, then the other two should get taken down as well. I'm just going to wait for him to stop moving. Or... Target eliminated. We're cool, we're cool. Right. So I'm going to switch to my um, suppressed assault rifle now. Oh, there's one guy here by himself. So the cooldown's got five seconds or so to go. I haven't got visibility on. Roger that. Move it. So you always want to try and take him down. Roger that. Target marked. Let me get into position. Because he's like a captain. Call the shot. Now these guys are going to lose it, I think. I didn't have noticed. I have not noticed the other guys down yet. There we go. Done. Nicely done. Okay, right. If I say so myself. Hold your position. I copy. No, don't hold your position. Um, rally to me. You don't want to be in the middle of the road. I copy. I'm moving. So we've got a helicopter here as well. What we're going to do now is, right, let's have these guys hold now. Stay there. Copy. I love that.
that tech thing is one of the, the we got same. A 20 on the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something These there medals are the skill points. Car. Add skill points that you've got available to you. So everyone says the parachute. I've only ever used the parachute a couple of times. One thing that I found really useful, now the frag grenade, that's useful, but it's going to be a while before I can actually use it. We're not going to recon. That can be useful. But I've got the, the, the drone as well. C4 can be useful, but you can use a grenade instead. You've got more control over C4. C4 is good for the, the missions where you have to get into a building. So you get proximity mines as a default anyway. Um, that's, that's a no-brainer really. We're here, let's go and do this one. In fact, uh, we'll take the helo. It's not far, but in fact it's so not far, it's almost... Oh, it's that one there, isn't it? Skill point. Let's do this anyway. from the chaff. I did the enhanced um, oh. they saw us didn't they okay we're still all right looks like more Sicarios want to get some I got a target carrying submachine guns there you go just by the fact there's a helicopter at the end of their runway Oh, there's a good uh, 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 it's not somebody at all. Okay. What about the binoculars? What have they got to say? I didn't increase them, did I? There's usually five. So I'm going to take out that guy. Moving to position. They're going to Moving take to out position. that guy. So it's quite a long distance, actually, isn't it? What sort of drop will there be? Oh, he's moving. Two hundred meters is going to be drop, isn't there? Engaging tangos. Probably not. Got a beat on so it looks like we might have some Sicarios coming down from the left there. To the uh, east. He's well hidden, don't blame him. Right, let me try this. Let's see how they like a simulator. We've got some more coming in though, haven't we, I think. We're clear. Y'all good? Oh, they want us to steal this. Okay. 
Right, let me pull up the... Uh, and let's put my guys here. Move there. Roger. Bad guys are marked, waiting on you, boss. Now, I have landed an aeroplane at a base once or twice, I think. But I don't think I've actually ever done it on film. And on both occasions I did it, I did it with a controller. Because it was just impossible without the um, using the keyboard. So let's get to it. Rally up me boys. Rally up people. Moving. I know what I'm gonna do quickly. I think that um distraction flare worked quite well. what a flare gun does, isn't it? Right, here we go. I'll pilot. Oh. In you get, boy. Oh, come on, don't mess with me. Get in, then. This is so easy to crash this damn plane. That would have been a crash if I hadn't had the controller there. It's just the elements of the controller. I've, I've not really ever been a PlayStation player, but uh, the, the whole thing is so much more natural. Right, okay. So we're going to have... It's amazing. Oh. Break contact. There's nothing more we can do here. God damn, I landed on the runway. See that's how difficult it is. You 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 have to <laughs> you. You have to fuck about. And that was with the controller. I have probably done that mission about fifteen times. But luckily Right, let's go and get whatever's here. Uh, the thing is, it will repopulate fairly soon, and you can try it again, and I will. You just have to be um, super patient. I should have circled around. What have we got on the map? Information point here. Go and check that out. This can sometimes be uh, 
populated with baddies, but it does not to be the case today. I'm spotting another tango. I got a third. So there are a few there. Sicario with a minigun near the ruins. Single shot down. Oh, minigun over there. He moved just at the right time, didn't he? He's dead. In the throat. They're largely invisible. He's behind the building. Guy over there. Got it. Moving. Eyes on the captain. Eyes on the target. You need to get to a better position. Let me hide here. Ready to engage. Okay. Tango down. That sing shot is so damn useful. Now there's more guys there. Let me have a look. I still haven't got the data I came over here for. So the sing shot is cooling down. There's only one guy here. So, opening fire on these shitheads down. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Right, supply raids. We'll pick those. Got the root of a cartel supply chopper here. Should make it easy to intercept and reroute it toward the rebels. Let's get to it. It's a gun here. That's a light machine gun, isn't it? Yeah. Let's start with this then, and then uh, we'll take out the, uh, that's so annoying, I should have just, yeah, the, the last two times I did landing, it was the landing like that, but I, uh, what I was doing, I was using the controller, but uh, I was using the right hand control stick as part of the, direction but it was actually a camera and there's a, a, a kidnap the helicopter there's an easier kidnap the helicopter the kidnap helicopter missions are difficult I think I've only done one successfully it's going to be interesting isn't it I have to go through this whole lot uh, I go down. There's any baddies in one area of this here by the look of it. Not an optimal place for uh there we go. Love this game. Love it. Let me, uh, an ox out. That's where they're meant to be, up there. I think the monox really only work as well if you're
there. Two. So it's just two birdies. Sometimes you can see the haze and think, oh no. So let's... Uh, Roger that. Move it. Moving to a good sight line. Target acquired. Say the word. So they're behind that building. I don't know how they managed to spot them. I don't know who saw me there. They're behind the building. Hang back, that tango might spot you. There's another one up there, is there? up here I need to be in, isn't there? Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. We do not. So I'm on with some of my suppressed machine pistol, um, assault rifle. That's them taken down. Clear. How are you guys holding up? Well, just get over the damn fence. How about you do that first? Right, okay. Hey. Oh, that looks nice. Now, this is just a white marker, I think. He'll probably just give himself up. You hear anything about the cartel of the Sicarios around here? Gracias. So we should have some more stuff on the map now. Yeah, we see there's more missions. And that plane mission is back why have they got intel on their bed right so where's our helicopter probably gone eh oh no it's over there that's not our helicopter actually right, let's make our way over here then and then c catch a helicopter I'm sure someone's going to have something to say about that hold up we got hostile activity we have let's see what this is Eyes on a group of soldiers. Got another tango. Tango number three. Sniper, top of the tower. So that's all of them. So you want to get up here, don't we, to the cemetery. I can actually direct my guys to go up here. Rally up, people. Roger, move it. But what you don't want you guys to do is just trot in front of the. I've obviously chosen to ignore my command. I 
I've never taken more than two or three uni dead down. There was once one occasion when I was stuck in a field. And they kept running through the field and we were just picking them off. They are harder to shoot. They are harder in every way. Right, that's uh Called. I'm over to position. Let me find a good position. See, they're just so much. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Good work, mate. You need out of scary shit. No, you can actually just do walk, and that will slow you right down. So the sniper is out, these guys are out so they're not going to provide backup. Now we could just get this, oh yeah of course, could just get this, oh we can't, well we could but Right, well, hopefully that shot thing will come back before. That's the lot. Nice. Good work, boys. We're just going to get in here, get this, have a look about for anything else. There are Unidad close by. I can only assume there's like a bunker or something. Ah, oh, yeah, at the top here. These are the best ones as well. Okay, can I upgrade my stats? Mine, frag grenade, I think. But it just increases the number. Okay, mission done. Let's get out of here. At this time, we'll be smarter about it. And then we'll try and do the easier of the two helicopter hijacks. Just drop there but we should be able to take him out stand still mate Got him. he 
he's currently crabbing himself. Go on, go. there you go. So we're in the borders of... Oh. My stick is so sensitive. Now there are multiple different... See, I've never... See, I've never understood how anyone has ever become efficient at doing this sort of game on a Xbox. Purely because I never got on with the sticks. Yeah, it's okay. There we go. Don't. There we go. Right, I know. Right, slow down. That's as good as it gets, I'm afraid. We're done here. The rebel can send a team in later to pick up their There you go. That's it. Get it back on the wrong way. Excellent, I think. That's done. This is the helicopter mission I want to do. Uh there's still the helicopter mission. Gonna land. We wanna land back here because there's someone here sometimes. No, we don't need this helicopter again. See what some people do is this. Oh, we haven't got a parachute. <laughs> yeah, and that would be funny, wouldn't it? I jump out and try and pull the parachute and realise I hadn't brought one yet. Okay. Get down here. But you don't need this helicopter. Because you're going to, in theory, steal one. Now, if, they don't, if you don't steal it, then you've got to come back and get this helicopter. Right, so let's start off at this camp here. There we go, there's a guy there. Roger that, moving. Roger that, target marked. Now it's worth me because you want to minimize the number of people up at the helicopter. Because what will happen is if you go for the helicopter and you mess it up. One of them will run and miraculously be able to fly it. And fly away with your precious cargo. Now they will come back.
now that they're marked I'm going to make my way up here a bit further see if I can mark out the base a bit I got a narco over here over there next to the container Still got a red haze. I, got a I need a better position. Good to go. He's all by himself. Target number five. Oh, there's another one there. Right. I don't want to rush this. But they're now out of the way. I'm now switching to my... I'm seeing two narcos here. Point them out. Right by the container. Yeah. So that's all of them now spotted. But any one of them could go... That's it guys, you stand there. There's one guy out by himself, there's a couple here. What you don't want them to do is see the dead body because then they'll run for it. That was fucking close. Right, there's three of them left. So close. But if I don't take this guy out at the same time... Then he'll get on the plane, on the helicopter. I should protect this and I'm going to see what I can find here. That's the best that's ever gone here. I've rushed it before I think. I have done it once, but I panicked and got in the helicopter and flew off without my. Uh... We're losing unit cohesion, closing ranks. I'll pilot. Right now, what we've got to do is get it to the location. I don't think it's that far, actually. But you don't want to. Uh... I think it's the same place we started.
this. Stealing supply choppers to help cartel crushing rebels. I love my job. Me too. I think we can actually use this hero now as well. Now the mission's done. So we've got the light machine gun there. There's a mission here. I think we've done all the the base missions here. I think there's a a base here we could do. What's this mission here? Stop. See that? Convoy. Stop and tag the convoy. Those convoys are tough. Mind you, it's parked up at the moment, isn't it? Okay. So we pull up here. We'll see what that looks like once we come down. Let's park up here actually. Avoid all the red markers, there's a... a oh look at that base there. Doesn't look inviting at all does it? Let's show and check it out, shall we? Wow, oh, this... Wow, with... This building is the first port. The light up in the room there. So he's inside, oh no, he's just outside the building. There's plenty others in there though. Oh, he's in the workshop. There's a guy asleep. Guy there. I got a third target. So there's no one downstairs. There's two, is it one or two guys downstairs? Stairs. Got twelve shots. What am I doing here? Am I in the wrong place? We done? Shit, I kinda got all excited there. Take 
um, I think he is someone we should be uh, I think we're here early I think this is a mission later Seems like there's a lot of them here. Let me get in position. So that guy there. It's a hell of a shot. For this scope it is anyway. Equip the suppressor. Shit. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. So I'm going to drop a mine here. I love the sound effects there for the I am right out in the open All the business is here, so you get down. I need to get in. It's that simple, okay. Check the roof. There we go. Roger that. Move it. Roger. Target acquired. Lost my target. Target acquired. I'm getting a position. Ready to fire. I got another. That's five. Super exposed here. Going to the uh... lost visual on the target. I 
go to the pistol just because this is likely to be close up Okay. Gotta fuck things up. Okay, obviously uh, talking and firing at the same time is difficult for me to do. It's a good idea, let's get these um, frags out. coming around Tango marked I was a little close to civilians It's amazing, I just did not see that. But this is the area cleared now, I think. It would have been nice to have done Damn, that. that was close. 
without being shot. But second wind is second wind. There it is. Eyes on Polito's car. Wow. This car oh. is swanky. There it is, there's swanky, Bob. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Oh, make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the narco bling. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty oh, times you drove around before. Oh, let's get out of here. Totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street. So what's the point? Air conditioning. Right. I'm not sure what I need to do with it. Be interesting. That's good. Mines only blow up other people's cars. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Is this a separate mission? Whish. Where am I meant to take this car? So it's only the GPS they want. I must remember that. I don't I'm guessing I'm going to the right place. It's a bit fun now, I know where I'm going. Alright, now 
what's up to Bowman in the activity. He'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Cool. I actually did that. I died once, didn't I? Well, I got shot and then I had second wind. And what was difficult for me at the beginning of that mission was working out where to go with it. We'll do that. We'll, we'll have a look, see what that is. I've never done one of them. And we'll try and take out this here. And maybe that there and call it night. Hold on. Oh, we jolly well go. Come here. This is like this is why you go by helicopter wherever you can. Different territory now, aren't we? Charm to convince DJ Perico to broadcast a Pakatari speech. It's a move that'll both raise the rebels' profile and make the cartel look bad. Persuade change and influence, huh? No leads on Perico's 20? We're still looking, but we don't even know what he looks like. Forge for intel. Find him, use him. I'll let you know if we can narrow down the location of the radio station. So this has got, I think, meta 4x4 four four attributes, and we're now on the way. Right. See how we get there. I've never done this mission before, I've got no idea what to expect. I'm sure it'll be as easy as anything. What are you walking out in the middle of the road for, darling? So, okay. Looks like there could be bad guys close by. Do I risk? No, I don't. This province is part of the cartel's influence operation. Their propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their M.O. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. So there's multiple guards. There's another tango. Moving to position. Let me find a good position. There's two of them. Copy. Target marked. I got two Sicarios. Ready right, to see engage. Him. He's gone. It's a sweet looking car, I've got to say. Hey, we got a narco. So these missions where you have to get in the building and then you have to kill everyone. I need you there. Yeah. We'll go. Now you think you're going to walk a come across them but you don't and not they're all tucked up inside they're all tucked up inside in position targets marked just say the word so 
So So this is the way we're going to do this. I didn't get any C4. Excellent. Still don't have enough for C4, do I? Oh yeah, okay. Nice. It does immediately give you that as well. So you, mate, need to get out of the way. Demo is primed and in place. Okay, you guys, how about you go? Move there. There. I copy. Tangles are marked. Standing by. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? Blow the fucking doors off. Demo's primed. We're wasting time. Let's get a move on. Clear. How we doing? Frag out. Get some. Nicely done. With less cartel stations on the air, the rebels will be able to move into the area. Cool. I don't know whether that was a mission I thought it was. It was. I don't know how that car mission ended up being that, but... Okay, I understand. So there was some stuff I had to blow up, and there was some stuff that I had to... Um, uh, hack. Get it. Got it. Okay, nice, done that. Having them come, having my guys come in through the bottom door while I went through the front door, that worked as well. Like, that was fun. I don't think you can open these doors. I got the C4 primed. Demo is primed and in place. Oh. I'd have to watch that video again, but uh, I think I was firing from the hip most of the time then. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. So we can take these out. We're trying to escape in the truck. <coughs> Poke the hornet's nest. You need what that truck's hauling. Don't blow it up. Okay, can I blow this up? Engaging tangos. It's bloody difficult. Watch 
truck. We need what's in it. So you you were trying to I'm using the Xbox controller here. Uh, the, I must you must be able to finesse these controls. This is what it was like firing you know when I used to play the game when I used to play PlayStation. <laughs> Just shot, shot past a bunch of Unidad soldiers, we're not going up there, we're going in here. Camo truck's secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Yeah, I was trying to be too smart, wasn't I? So, uh, I thought, well, I'll take that baddie, put him on the C4 and then blow him up, that'd be funny. Alright, I'm in. It didn't... oh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go and get this medal. I don't know how many... Sorry guys, I understand your... Should be able to loot this place without too much fear of. There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. Let's just do this. That's well. Oh, this is restock. Doesn't flag these uh, crates very. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
Need to get me upstairs. Can you go me and nick him in my medal, mate? Okay, I think that's me done for today.